Okay, so when it comes to watchOS 9.3, I'll be happy to let you know that the second beta has finally been released today and this update for me on my Apple Watch Ultra comes in at exactly 276 megabytes. It's one that we had been waiting for since last year and I'll be happy to let you know that it's not the only thing that Apple released today. You can see here on the Apple developer page that Apple released iOS 16.3 beta 2, iPadOS 16.3 beta 2, there's also macOS 13.2 beta 2 and of course watchOS 9.3 beta 2. This is the video for that and tvOS 16.3 beta 2. Most of these updates I do cover here on the channel at Halfman Half Tech. So if that's something that you are interested in and you want to know more, definitely do subscribe so that you don't miss out. Now, when it comes to some of the software changes that are here, if we're to go into settings and go to general and go to software updates, you can see that I'm already up to date and if we go to the about this section you can see the build number that we have and it's 20S5637H. Now this has an H at the end and compared to beta 1 it had an E so in a sense if we were to calculate it we took about 3 steps in the negative direction. It doesn't mean that it's less stable but it just goes to show that there's more that needs to be improved in the OS before this update is fully released. To the general public now when it comes to some of the new features and changes that are here with this update the first one that i would like to highlight that i found has to do with live synchronization and this update does improve the previous buggy synchronization issue that a number of users were experiencing when it comes to live uh, streaming services like podcast and also live music and so on so that synchronization issue between your watch and your iphone or your other streaming services has been resolved with this update there's also a user who mentioned that deleting a text on your iphone thanks to this uh, anonymous user they mentioned that deleting a text on your iphone also deletes the same text on your apple watch and before that was an issue so it just goes to show you that a bunch of the synchronization issues have been resolved something that i have to give credit to errand for is finding the connectivity between this update and your new airpods or your the audio devices it could be the beats pro or it could be airpods pro or just regular airpods is that the connection time is now faster whether you are connecting straight if from the spotify application or whether you go into the settings and go to your bluetooth and try to connect a new device that audio connection seems to have been improved a little bit thanks to watchOS 9.3 beta 2. Some of the release notes that we have when it comes to watchOS 9.3 beta 2, you can see that we do have a resolved issue in watchOS 9.3 beta 2 and it has to do with movements disorder API or application interface and it doesn't really tell us much about the update in itself so most of these we do have to do some digging and if you do see something that I haven't seen or haven't mentioned then definitely do leave it in the comment section below so that others will be able to know of what's going on but other than that that's how this update is I did notice a little bug after updating when I go into this photos watch face and select on this section at times there's a banner that shows that it's interactive but then at the same time i can't be able to add complications or anything to it so that is an issue that i've noticed that that's existing with this update it's nothing major but other than that switching between watch faces and daytime and night mode is pretty good and smooth with this update so that's how it is in terms of my battery I just want to show you and since I've had this Apple Watch Ultra for some time you can see if we were to go to battery health and you will see here it's on 100% so it's been at 100% for some time which is pretty good and battery uh, performance I'm still yet to test out this update since I just updated a few minutes ago and other than that that's about it for me in terms of when we can expect this update I will just show you here on the calendar since it's just a rough prediction you notice that yeah today is January 10 and in about 
the end i would say closer to the last week of january perhaps on tuesday which will be january 31st that's when we can expect the official release of watch west 9.3 but other than that this is all speculation since apple hasn't really said much now that's about it for me when it comes to this update if you like this video do leave a like and subscribe and stay safe and i'll see you in the next video peace